Hey guys, it's Danny B. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about back of the room fill. Now this will be useful for all of my wedding DJs, corporate event DJs. Uh, basically if you're doing any kind of event. And the reason we use this is for these huge venues that we're DJing at now. Uh, a lot of them are barn style venues. So uh, we've come to realize that we're having 200 plus guests. And we have a lot of guests that are... Uh, in front of us as well as guests that are far off in the distance so how do we get sound to those people not only music but announcements without blasting the people in front of us so back in the day I just want to touch on that we used to have to run about 100 150 feet of XLR cable gaff tape it all down the line to a speaker remotely in the back of the room it takes up a lot of time a lot of effort it looks messy and it potentially could be dangerous so here in 2019, we're using wireless sound. Now, we prefer the Sennheiser uh, G4 series. It's the EWG4 transmitter. This thing transmits at uh, up to 50 milliwatts, which is great. Uh, DJ Rachel and DJ Mojo are also utilizing the Sennheiser uh, wireless sound, but they're using the G4 packs. And I found that the packs only transmit at 10 milliwatts of power giving you a lot of interference and a lot of dropouts. So that's the transmitter. Right here we have the Bose S1 Pro speaker. This is the totally wireless speaker, battery powered. Uh, as you can see, it's on there, no cord hanging out. And on the receiving end, we do have the G4 uh, receiver that corresponds with the transmitter. So this is plugged into the XLR output there. Uh, another thing I wanna touch on, this is our usual setup that we use at weddings, our DDJSZ our MacBook Pro with our speakers here. This would normally be our house sound. One thing that we always take is our Yamaha MG12XU digital mixer. We prefer this because it has multiple inputs, multiple outputs, but also it has two auxiliary send outputs. Um, now, a lot of you uh, may question what is an auxiliary sound. So this lets you independently control volume settings to that remote speaker. So with the transmitter plugged into aux one, I can now independently control that volume to the remote speaker no matter what my channel does. So if I'm blasting uh, this channel here, whatever I have set on my auxiliary will stay at that constant volume. So I'm gonna give you an example here. I'm gonna play a um, just a instrumental track here. I'm gonna turn my volume up here. This is the main channel where I would be broadcasting out to my crowd. Now with this auxiliary, if I turn that up, you can hear this speaker turning up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my mains just to kind of give you an idea that no matter what I do to my main channel, um, you can see here, I'm going to turn up my auxiliary. That's controlling that remote. Now here's my main channel, my front of house, no matter what I do to that that speaker is not increasing volume. So if I'm blasting the dance crowd here, the back of the room sound, if you pan over here to our master out, you can definitely tell that it is blasting. So no matter what do I do to this channel here, nothing affects that auxiliary. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this song over. We're gonna take a trip downstairs. We're in the second story of my house right now. I'm gonna carry this speaker. So this is a great example as if I was going over to a cocktail area and the volume's going down because I'm manually controlling it back here for now just so I can talk to you guys. So now we went down two flights of stairs. We went around the corner. We're now in the kitchen. We're going to go outside in the garage and see what, what kind of volume we get. So here we are, all the way in the back corner of my garage. Like I said, I'm manually controlling it back here just to talk to you guys, but if I turn it back up, you can hear there's no dropouts. Now, a lot of people will say, hey, there's a lot of lag in there. It's, if there's lag, it's milliseconds, and that is per Sennheiser. They'll tell you it is milliseconds of lag, not noticeable to the human ear at all. So let me turn this back up. There you go. Wireless sound, if I had to go into another room, here I am. 
Now, ideally, this would be the best application. No power going into this, it's fully rechargeable. So now we're gonna go back upstairs and just show you that the sound continues to play. So there we are. And as you can see, I can control it here down. Or as loud as I need it. So just to recap, a lot of people might be asking, you know, why not just go out to the speaker and adjust the volume like you were doing there? I mean, that's cool and all, you could do that, but do you really wanna leave your control station? Do you really wanna be walk walking back and forth here? If somebody comes up to me and says, hey, you mind turning it up, mind turning it down a little bit, I can do it all right here from the auxiliary input. So that's it, guys. Just to recap, that's the Sennheiser Wireless G4 pack uh, with the transmitter as well. This, it, this can really help you out at your events a lot. It cuts down on running wires, cables, finding an outlet. Um, also, it helps with the volume control overall over your room. You can give it a really nice sound uh, without blasting the people out in the back of the room. So if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not yet a subscriber. If you are, thank you very much. Hit that bell notification to be notified every time we upload a video. So we're going to be uploading gig logs, also videos like this that help out the DJ community. If you have any questions, drop them down below and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.